The death and resurrection of Jesus Christ are pivotal events in Christian theology. While the crucifixion and resurrection are well documented, little is explicitly mentioned about what Jesus did during the three days between his death and resurrection. However, by analyzing biblical references and studying Christian traditions, we can explore the possibilities of Jesus' actions during this transformative period. Day 1. The Descent into Hell The Apostles' Creed references Jesus descending to hell after his crucifixion. Many people do know this, but David prophesied it, and Peter also quoted it in Act chapter chapter 2 verse 27, which says, Because thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine Holy One to see corruption. See how this easy version puts it. When I die, he will not leave me in Hades, the place for dead people. You will not let anything destroy the body of your Holy One. You have shown me the paths that lead to life with you. I will be completely happy because you will be with me forever. Peter then said, Friends, people of Israel, I must speak clearly to you about our ancestor King David. He died, and people buried his body in the ground. You can still see the place where people buried him. He was a prophet. He knew what God had promised to do for him. He knew that one of his descendants would be king of God's people one day. David understood what God would do in a future time. He did not speak about himself, but he spoke about the Messiah. He said that God would cause this man to become alive again after his death. God would not let him remain in Hades, the place for dead people. Nothing would destroy his body. This man that David talked about is Jesus. After his death, God caused him to become alive again. We ourselves saw this happen. All of us saw it. Acts 2 27 32. So when he went to hell, he did some things. 1. He preached to the spirits in prison. 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 19. By which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison. It is mentioned that Jesus proclaimed to the spirits in prison. This suggests that Jesus may have used this time to preach the message of salvation to, to those who had died prior to his sacrifice. 2. The harrowing of hell of early Christian tradition speaks of the harrowing of hell, which expands upon the idea of Jesus' descent. It emphasizes his triumph over the powers of darkness and the redemption of those held captive. When Jesus got to hell, he fought the devil, that old wise serpent, that collected the key of authority from Adam in the garden. He prevailed over the devil, broke his head, and collected the keys. Colossians chapter 2 verse 15. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a shoe of them openly, triumphing over them in it. He also opened the gate where the righteous saints that died before his coming are, and he transported them from paradise below to paradise above. Free. Victory over death. On the third day, Jesus rose from the dead, marking the culmination of his redemptive mission. When he came back, he gave us the authority that we loathed. Matthew chapter 28 verse 18 to 20. Verse 18. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. 19. Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. 20. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you alway, even unto the end of the world. Amen. For you shall tread upon snakes and scorpion, and drink deadly things, and it shall not hurt you. Because now we have authority from Jesus. Hallelujah. Some Bible references for your further studies. Matthew chapter 28 verse 1 to 10, Mark chapter 16 verse 1 to 8, Luke chapter 24 verse 1 to 12, and John 20 verse 1 to 18. The Gospel accounts present the resurrection story. Jesus' resurrection not only affirms his divinity, but also validates his teachings and promises. The Bible and some Christian tradition, theological reflection, and apocryphal texts provide valuable insights to the fact that Jesus went to hell for those three days. 
the descent into hell, the harrowing of hell, and the victory over death all contribute to the redemptive narrative of Jesus Christ. These events affirm his divine nature, emphasize the transformational power of his sacrifice, and provide hope for all believers. Throughout history, believers have found solace and inspiration in the mystery of Jesus' actions during those three days. Regardless of the specific details, what remains central is the profound significance of his death and resurrection, offering salvation and eternal life to all who believe in him. So if you are not yet saved, accept him and be saved. All what he did was for you to be saved. Repeat this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I admit I am a sinner. Please forgive me all my sins and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I believe you died for me on the cross and I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. Write my name in the book of life and cleanse it from the book of death. I reject the devil and his works, and I declare and confess with my mouth that I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and I am saved by faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. I trust you are blessed. You can also leave a comment below at the comments box. And if you need special counsel or prayers or question, you can also comment below. Then we can meet and talk over that. Encourage us by liking, sharing, and subscribing for more. God bless you.